Good evening, everyone. Um, I actually wanted to do this video since New Year's Eve and um, tell the truth about how I feel about the new year 2019. It's actually taken me this long to do it, and I will tell you why. Um, 2019 is a very pivotal year for me. Um, when I was first diagnosed with rheumatoid, the first two years, Things didn't look good. I didn't look good. I was 89 pounds. My skin was just sunk in. It was yellow. I It, it looked like I wasn't going to make it. And I remember sitting in bed saying, you know what, Lord, if you would just give me 18 years and let me raise my daughter. I had just had Angela. Um, if you just give me the 18 years, let me raise her. After that, man, you can do what you want, Lord, but please have mercy on me and le at least bless me with 18 more years to raise this child. I do not want to leave her without a mother. And obviously he granted me that. Um, then 10 years later, yes, 10 years, I had my second child. It was 28. That would have been in 2001. Um, that's when we had Anthony. And that is when I said, oh no, Lord, hold on, hold on, hold on. This cancels the other contract. I need 18 more years. Can we work something out? I need 18 more years. <laughs> I bargain with the Lord a lot. Um, and thank God he's so merciful and loves me that often he listens to me and I get it. And um, Anthony will be 18 in March. I'm super excited. Um, um, and he does graduate this year. And as 2019 came, I said, thank you, Lord, you've given me my, my wish and desire of my heart to raise my children. And I got to raise both of them, both Angela and Anthony. And um, I was always afraid that I would never make it to Anthony's graduation um, as things progressed. And um, as 2019 came, there was a lot of anxiety um, that I'm letting go of <laughs> day by day because there is going to be a little bump in the road and a little struggle that may um, get in get in the way of my dream of seeing my son graduate. Um, I don't think so, but um, all I'm going to say that there is a battle ahead and I'm not looking forward to it. And I'm just praying that I get through it and that I make it to my son's graduation. So um, that's how I feel about 2019. So while everybody was celebrating, I was just not wanting it to come because I don't know what's going to happen. But I know that I do have to trust the Lord. Um, it is a process. I don't always just like, oh, yes, I am. I have all this faith and I'm ready, Lord. I'm going to get there. Trust and believe. But it is a process. And um, I just allow myself to go through it. But I stay close to the Lord and I pray all the way through it. And he has been blessing me through this horrible anxiety of anticipation of, um, you know, the little bump in the road. So um, he has sent me his grace and his love in ways that are just amazing. But that's like a whole other video of how God speaks to me, but um, I will let you know that he has let me know through someone else. He sent me a message that his grace was upon me and he showed me how um, that was going to happen. So that might sound weird to people, but I'm telling you, I, I, I can't make this stuff up. This is just the story of my life. And that's why it's so important that I, you know, I do write this book. And um, I, I am still writing with it. I am not going to lie. I'm struggling with it because I just see pieces. But I'm just going to start writing those pieces. And one day it's going to all come together. So we'll see how that works. Um, and that's all I have to say. So ready to start 2019 going to work tomorrow. And we will see how the rest of the year turns out. Stay tuned. It'll be a journey. Bye.